Read your cards carefully. He's knocked out. Colorless. Dragon. The middle Fairy. era is 2002 to 2013. Fighting. Sound it out. Psychic. The pre-modern era is 2013 to 20. You must immediately advance. Is 2020 to present. All right, let's get started. Hi, I'm Neil. I'm Katie. And we are Higher Education. In this video, we will cover Pokemon knockouts. When a Pokemon receives damage equal to or greater than its HP. When a Pokemon accumulates damage equal to or greater than its HP, it is knocked out. You must discard the knocked out Pokemon and all cards attached to it. Under normal circumstances, your opponent will take a single prize card after this happens. Then you must immediately advance a Pokemon from your bench into the active spot. After the knocked out Pokemon is discarded and a Pokemon is advanced from the bench, move into Pokemon checkup and proceed with the game. So there are two ways that the game can actually end after a knockout. The first way is that your opponent takes a prize card. If a player takes all of his or her prize cards, that player wins the game automatically. The second way is through immediate advancement of a Pokemon from the bench. If you do not have any Pokemon on your bench to immediately advance, you lose the game. Now let's watch a couple of videos that demonstrate what happens when a Pokemon is knocked out. In this scenario, we are going to go over what happens when a Pokemon is knocked out. So it is my turn, um, and it's the phase of my turn where I can attack. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use Low Kick, uh, which does 20 base damage. Uh, Venusaur is not weak or resistant to fighting type, so it does normal damage. And if you notice, Venusaur already has 80 damage on him and he only has 100 HP. So 20 plus 80 is 100. He is maxed out of his HP, so he's knocked out. Um, now I get to take a prize card because I knocked him out. And now Neil is going to resolve the knockout on his end. Okay, so there's no point in putting more damage counters on because Venusaur is about to get discarded. So I'll just move the damage counters off. And one thing we want to demonstrate is that Venusaur, Ivysaur, Bulbasaur, all the energy attached to them, and a tool in this instance, all of these cards get discarded because of Venusaur's knockout. Then I have to immediately advance someone from my bench even before we move into Pokemon checkup. I only have one Pokemon, so that is an easy choice. I'm going to advance Clefable, but immediate advancement is very important. In the 2019 World Championship match, one of the players was actually assessed a two prize card penalty for failing to immediately advance his Pokemon after a warning from the judges. So immediate advancement is a very important point after a knockout. So in this video demonstration today, we are going to show what happens when a rule box Pokemon is knocked out. So you can see we all have um, special Pokemon on our um, active spots and on our bench. Um, so it is my turn to attack. So I'm going to use my EVV Max to attack Charizard GX. Um, but before we do that, we need to address that these special Pokemon all have rule boxes. So on my EVV Max, it says the VMAX rule. When your Pokemon VMAX is knocked out, your opponent takes three prize cards. So that is really important to know um, when you're working toward trying to beat your opponent. Um, if he only had three prize cards left, I would not want EVV Max on my bench or on my active spot because if he gets knocked out, Neil would automatically win the game. So I'm going to go ahead and attack with G Max Cuddle. Um, it takes three colorless energy and I have the required energy attached. Um, does 150 damage. During your opponent's next turn, if the defending Pokemon tries to attack, your opponent flips a coin. If Tails, that attack doesn't happen. So it, I've attacked and now it's Neil's turn. Okay, so I'm going to draw a card. I'm not going to play anything. What I'm going to demonstrate with my rule box Pokemon, Charizard GX, is that when I use a GX attack, I can only use it once per game. 
and we'll see what happens when EVV Max is knocked out. So first I have to flip for the effect of G-Max Cuddle. If I flip heads, the attack still works, but I am using Dreadful Flames GX. So I have to flip my GX marker down to indicate that I've used my GX attack for the entire game. Heads, so the attack does work. 250 damage. EVV Max is knocked out. Discard an energy from each of your opponent's Pokemon. So Katie also has to discard an energy from her Flapple V as she advances him. I get to take one, two, three prize cards for knocking out a VMAX Pokemon. And now it's Katie's turn. Okay, so now it's my turn. Um, I'm not going to play anything in my hand. Um, I am going to go ahead and use Wing Attack. It does 120 damage. Um, and it has no other text, so it just does a straight 120 damage. And... Charizard GX now has 270 damage on him. He only has 250 HP, so he is knocked out. The rule box for GX Pokemon is that when Pokemon GX are knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards. So Katie will take two prize cards two. as Charizard GX is knocked out. Hi, thank you for watching our video. We are Higher Education. Play, learn. Read your cards carefully. He's knocked out. Colorless to 2000 Dragon. The middle Fairy era is 2002 to 2013. Good game.